Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Safari LTD Sora Pelter figure. Sora Pelter was a nodosaurid ankylosaur dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, 108 million years ago, in what is now Wyoming. Okay, this figure right here. This is a very rare occurrence in that I think this figure is basically flawless. And that is a very rare claim. I just, I can't really think of anything wrong with this figure. Doug Watson has done it again. He is such an incredibly talented sculptor when it comes to prehistoric animals and this Sauropelter is no exception. Now let's take a look at this gorgeous head sculpt. Looking at the head sculpt you can see the eye is yellow and there's just the tiniest pinprick of a pupil in there. The beak is grey and it's outlined in black. It looks really nice. The nostrils are very clear. The underside of the mouth has been sculpted in. Jaw closed, that's alright. And then the two pairs of um, scoots jutting out from the sides of the back of the head look very nice indeed it's just got this very calm expression on it and the top of the head is very nicely done this figure is done in a very light brown color on the top and then underneath it's this gorgeous gray color and while the colors aren't that exciting they are so naturalistic very earthy and I think that's very perfect for an animal that would probably be pretty close to the ground a lot of the time. You see Sora Pelta 2015 Safari LTD. The scale detail is gorgeous, the underside of the feet. Very well done. Correct number of toes, five toes on the front feet, all of which have claws, which I believe is accurate. And then four toes on the back feet. Excellent perfectly done and they've sculpted, sculpted tiny tiny scales on the soles of the feet. You see a cloaca there, very nice attention to detail, always appreciate when that's put on and the scale detail continues all the way down the tail. Now flipping it over we can see the spikes on the back have been done perfectly. They're the exact right arrangement and shape. We've got six on each side of the neck and then at the shoulders we've got these huge ones these are grey and the tips are black a lot of uh, Sora Pelts figures I've seen uh, the coloration on these vary a little bit I'm really happy with the one that I got and then when we look at the back look at the detail that's gone into the shield we can see we've got these six large scales on the neck and when we get to the torso and the back, look at the scale variety and detail on the shield. We've got these very knobbly scoots here. And then when we get to over the hips, we've got the typical nodosaurid uh, shield where it's this one huge fused plate over the hips for protection against predators, which would have been quite numerous in the um, these, uh, cloverleaf formation where it lived as there would have been Acrocanthosaurus and also Deinonychus, both of which are very, very nasty animals to deal with. So this armour would have been very handy for protecting itself. When we get down to the tail, it's incredibly long and thin, but not brittle. This very hard plastic, it hurts to move this because the, <laughs> the spikes are digging into my thumb. So don't worry, this is not going to break anytime soon. And the spikes going down the sides. Wonderful. Wonderful. If any of you have seen Jurassic Fight Club, you'll know that Utah had to put its claw, or its leg, between here on Gastonia, which is a relative of uh, Sauropelta. Got its leg basically sliced off. Not sliced off, but um, it's a very dangerous animal, and it's been sculpted perfectly. This tail looks amazing. And I like how it's really long and they didn't cheap out on sculpting the plastic. 
it's just it's just wonderful. I really can't think of anything wrong with this figure. There's oh, we've also got ear holes sculpted on the side of the head there. Wonderfully done. And I just I can't think of anything wrong with this figure. The only thing I can think of that might put some people off maybe is that the um, the color scheme is very simple. But honestly, that's something I love about this figure. I just it looks so genuinely real. Now in terms of the length, I think this is about is that 19 centimeters. Yeah, just about 19 centimeters long. In terms of the height, the tips of those um, the large spikes on the shoulders are five centimeters exactly. And let's do width. This might be a bit tricky. These spikes again. I think we're looking at just over five centimeters wide as well. So not not a massive figure, but a really good size. And I think this is the only Sora Pelter figure I know of. If you want to buy one, get it. This figure is near enough flawless. I can't find anything wrong with it. It's it's just beautiful. If you want one, go to everythingdinosaur.com. They have fantastic service. Uh, you will not be disappointed with this figure. It is wonderful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.